This is episode 128 of Gold Squadron Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, William Hegwood, and tonight I'm joined by myself, Anmute Manzana. Not Anmute, Anmute. Some pauses of of nothingness. Well, that's okay. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have uh, Dion tonight, uh, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Uh, I want to start with some announcements quick uh, before we get into the World Championships. Is actually the uh, St. Louis Grand Championship. Uh, you can sign up right now. The event's going November 8th through 10th, uh, which is day one happening, day one A happening on the 8th, day one B, then the next day on uh, the 9th. And then uh, top 16 from both days go into the top cut on the 10th. Um, Dion's uh, signed up to stream. Uh, you're going down to St. Louis as well, aren't you, Marcel? Yeah, I'm going to be, um, I, I bought the ticket early, so I'm actually going to be doing like the day one. Be- I bought mm-hmm. the day one before they changed it to two days. So I'll be there on uh, on Friday to fly the, to have the Friday flight. All right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, though. I'm still trying to wing it. Uh, we'll see how, uh, we'll see how Worlds goes. <laughs> um, but I'm excited. Uh, get a, finally a grand championship in the Midwest. Uh, a lot, I know a lot of people are excited about it. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, I, I, well, literally, it's the first grand championship outside of NOVA uh, because the uh, other That's one in, um, that got announced in uh, California is not happening until January. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah, I think it'll be, uh, yeah, even though it got announced later, it's, it's happening sooner. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's going to be great. I mean, uh, I thought Nova went over uh, fantastic. Everybody uh, enjoyed the time down there. Um, so uh, it should be a great time. That was uh, the 8th, 9th, and 10th of November. All right, let's get into some World Championship coverage. Uh, that's next week. Gold Squadron is going to uh, bring you a new live streaming experience from the Gold Champion from the World Championships. Uh, That's October 16th through the 19th. We'll be covering multiple tables at once with commentary from uh, uh, Aces, Asagraf, and Nami Lee. Um, They are, we have, ooh, we got some new confirmed uh, co-commentators as well. Uh, Ryan Farmer from the Fly Better podcast, Andrew Knuckles, Birmingham Barons, Curl Power Creatives, uh, we also have uh, Darren Granger, Ryan Sanowski, Joel Killingsworth, uh, and uh, Mikhail Jenkins. I don't know if I'm saying mm-hmm. that right. Yep, M- Michael Jenkins. Michael Jenkins, <laughs> okay. Um, and, uh, and, of course, uh, the ringleader of this entire production, of course, is going to be uh, your very own, Dion Morales. Um, mm-hmm. They're trying to do, I don't know if of... Uh, Anyone's ever seen a red zone before. Um, but that's kind of uh, the experience that Dion's trying to create. Multiple tables, yeah. multiple commentators. <clears throat> Dion's bouncing back yeah. and forth, taking like, uh, trying to do like some live, like cuts, like maybe something crazy happens. Uh, something like Nanny's out or um, yeah. who, who knows what. We're going to find out. Uh, it's going to be. Are we going to uh, have a sideline reporter? Uh, that's probably going to be me. Uh, <laughs> um, we were trying to figure out how to uh, get more cameras, just basically as many cameras as possible everywhere, uh, all over worlds. Um, so uh, I'm pretty excited about going up for the whole weekend, or shoot, not even a weekend. Starts on, I'll be up there on Tuesday. Uh, so almost a whole week for me, multiple days of streaming for everybody. And, uh, uh, ooh, um, also, we're going to be unveiling, during the coverage, a new logo and brand design. No longer uh, will it be the, uh, where is it, down here in the corner? 
yeah, the Gold Squadron. <laughs> the other way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Gold Squadron uh, podcast uh, that you're familiar with. Uh, we're going to a new direction. It's almost 2020. Uh, we're finishing up this kind of like season, if you will. Um, and uh, Dion's cool. got a bunch of new like I said, logos, designs. And, of course, uh, um, there would be more things to follow like that. So, um yeah, it's going to be exciting. Um, you know, the coverage yeah. is going to be exciting. I think the new venue is going to be exciting. The fact that um, they're making it an entire event now, not just uh, at FFG Center, and they're going to have uh, more days, more people per per flight, and just the sheer number of people that are going to be there from all around the world. Um, I, I'm psyched. And I think, you know, especially since I missed last year, uh, since I, I didn't get a chance to go last year, mm-hmm. um, I'm I'm kind of itching to go. Um, you know, I feel like something that was missing last year from by not going, and now that that I've gotten to meet uh, um, another part of the community overseas, I'm just super excited to kind of see them again. And uh, I think it'll be uh, for a lot of us. It'll it'll have a different. Um, flavor i guess it'll have a different effect impact being there so i'm going more for the social than for the gaming but you mm-hmm. know still try to win uh yeah exactly i mean that's the whole point of it i mean it's been uh, jokingly like ffg con uh, but mm-hmm. it's definitely the uh gonna be the biggest x-wing meetup um, at this side of the, at this side of the Atlantic, anyways. Uh, let's see. So, if you are uh, interested in uh, sticking to uh, the our uh, hey, Twitch channel, just, yeah, yeah, just real quick, the, um, the Twitch is um, saying that it. I, I mean, it's really laggy. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, uh, uh, um, I was trying to drop it, but apparently I got to drop it even more. Let's see if. Let me let me tell them that we're working on it. Oh, I see it. I see. It. I'm working on it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm hardlined in. It's the best I could do for right now. Might have to drop it even lower. Our recording's doing great, though. You just got to edit out this part. <laughs> or leave it in. It doesn't really matter. Let's. uh See if that changes it. I'm gonna have to drop it even lower then. Mm-hmm. That's that's unfortunate, but I mean, we're gonna do. You've gotta like, you gotta move out of Iowa. They don't have any well, internet over there. I I, I agree. I mean, no, it, it's a stream. People nowadays are streaming three hey, different hey. videos and on their I cell mean, phones. Hey, 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 my man, uh, plug it into your cell phone. I'm going to blame it on my laptop, but also, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, it said lower. Okay. Yeah, it's still, How is it um, now? Is, it, is there any improvement? Mm, and then, um, well, at the moment, it's still, you're still trying to feed, and I think your upload speed is really slow. And you're showing a video. Why are you showing a video? Oh, I was trying to see the... Oh, I showed it over that. That makes sense. I was trying to show a video. <laughs> I was trying to show our Twitch thing, but I have opened it up in the wrong thing. Uh, anyways, we'll see how that works for a bit uh, as we press on. I just want to say that... Uh, so, for more Worlds coverage, uh, and to follow along uh, with us, you need to uh, subscribe on our Twitch and YouTube, so you can turn on notifications by hitting the bell. Um, so you can get notified each time we activate the stream and uh, know when we are uh, going to be bring, bringing you this ridiculous experience. Uh, we're going to have links in the description uh, so you can follow along um, on those different channels here. Uh, so speaking of Diom and <laughs> uh, why, uh, uh, why it's me running the stream today. Uh, for, uh, so there's a, there's a personal message from Diom. And uh, let's see, <laughs> uh, what, uh, what's that? So, unfortunately, on Monday morning, I, Dion, 
uh, found one of my dogs, Elsa, had passed away. I'm not ready this evening to give you a performance uh, you all deserve. Thanks to those who give their support. I hope to get myself ready to deliver a touch experience at Worlds. And yes, we uh, deep condolences to Diom um, on that. Uh, very, very sad. Uh, I cannot imagine. We get into some <coughs> uh, lists. Uh, this is the uh, uh, real topic of tonight uh, going into Worlds. You're going to see a lot of lists. Seven factions now in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's viable uh, lists in every faction. And we're kind of going to go through just a couple of them uh, that we have seen and uh, expect to see at Worlds as well. So, uh, oh, we also have... Uh, a notable dark horse, uh, the ones that you're not, you're not seeing like all over the place, but is uh, not not something to be messed with. Uh, so uh, we we'll start on rebels. Uh, Marcel, uh, you've been playing rebels all season for the most part. Uh, well, not any of these lists, but yeah. <laughs> yeah well, um, well, I mean, no, I mean, there's one. In yeah, there. I mean, I've been playing That's rebels, fair. but uh, yeah, no, not 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 these specifically. So the um, so let's get into, let's see what we got for the first one. Well, yeah, the first one, it's just uh, four Ewings. Uh, and <clears throat> uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of ways to build out four Ewings. You got multiple pilots. Uh, it's going to have Leia crew in there somewhere. Uh, you're going to have some sort of support uh, with either like Benthic or uh, Magvayaro. And... You're just like a bunch of big turrets. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, how many times have you played against four Ewings, Marcel? Uh, against or with? Uh, again, well, either or. You know, I played against them, I think, only once. But I played against... Uh, I mean, they, they basically play similar to a lot of the other beef lists. I think they, they, they're a little bit tougher to play against than, because you, you bump into them a lot more. They take up a lot more space. And with Leia around, just having the ability to stop and rotate. Uh, every couple turns yeah. and then on top of that uh i don't like specifically like the um version that he's flying there i like the one with uh the, the ultra defensive version that says uh friendly ships at range one and two you can only reroll one die against them oh yeah so Which, you're, you're uh, talking about mark mag we just put yeah, that in yeah. there just take that in there and just drop something else um you know selfless you don't need selfless on half just yeah, and tell, and you don't need tactical <laughs> scrambler either. You need uh, Zeb in there because he goes in there, he bumps, he shoots. Yeah, um, and then so you need Leia points. somewhere. Yeah, you need Leia somewhere. Um, Leia. What about uh, what about Saw Guerrero? Get some pirate skill in there. No, you need you need you want the low block. You want the three low blockers. Yeah, you just need Leia. Leia is important. <laughs> yeah, so just throw I mean, Leia and a couple other crew in there. Uh, well, if you're not uh, if you're not bringing Cassian as the pilot, you might as well bring him as the crew member. We were just talking about how so how good he was last week. Uh, yeah, I mean you, you could do that. Actually, one thing you could do, but actually, this <coughs> list would have enough for. If you're gonna do Cassian, uh, you would put Cassian on Heftober, because Heftober is the one that wants to get in and block. Well, what about Informant then? Well, Informant is they don't have any repositioning so informant really doesn't do a whole lot for you and the only time that it really oh, yeah. triggers is if you uh stop and which way are you going to rotate but most of the time I oh think i see what you mean that. because you're trying to change the dial that's fair that's fair yeah i forgot about the, the whole change your dial thing i was just yeah, focused so, on looking at other people's yeah so you really only want to cast an endor and then um you know upgrade uh you don't need informant I, would, I mean, why not look at Even though you styles? could, you, you know, this is something well. that yeah, you, you could, but it's... I mean, this it's is like a, this is like your uh, Intel scouts at this point, just knowing not, so much information. No, no repositioning doesn't really do much for you. Oh, uh, you're stopping. Huh? I want it, uh, oh, yeah, because you don't have Cassian. So if you had Cassian crew, you could get stopping every round. But yeah, I, think so, we're, yeah. I, I think we're showing that, like, uh, the, yeah, the main so highlights. <clears throat> the main highlights yeah. is Leia and getting... Um, basically in your way yeah, and having so way. much health. Yeah. With, with that much health with, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's just a lot of health to shoot through. They, they have three die attacks. Uh, the, the, you know, it's the agility more than the health, the two agility. 
So mm-hmm. it's eight Talos on two agility. They're basically X wings. Oh yeah. Um, defensively, they're not you know better than B wings. But um, yeah, I mean, and you know more than anything, they're they're resistant to what everyone think is going to be the boogeyman of. Um, oh, tractors! The, yeah. Yeah, the tractor beams, and they shoot before most droid swarms. So so they're mm-hmm. it's, it's in a pretty good spot. Yeah. I think. Not, not terrible. All right, no, uh, not, we're not gonna move well. on to like I said, we we were mentioned before we're gonna do some dark horses. Um, um, but before that, uh, I do want to touch on. Um, uh, actually, well, I don't know. Is this a dark horse? Uh, you've been flying a lot of uh, Wedge and Luke plus one. <coughs> oh, excuse me, that was a mute moment. <laughs> Uh, you've been flying a lot of uh, Wedge and Luke, uh, well, plus either the, AP5 or... Uh... Yeah, Dion did the notes. For the Dark Horse, he actually put Rebel Fat-Free Beef. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think oh, he I was trying it. to I go for... I yeah, got I it right here. He, no, I, I think love, he was trying to say, like, the old Rebel list. Beef. But, um, yeah, I think he was trying to go with the old Rebel Beef. But just, I see, I've seen a lot of people swap out um, the main wing in there. Instead of uh, uh, ten num, so they can go ahead and or a U wing. No, an A wing. Really, I uh, I've actually flown (coughs) flown against and it inspired me to fly it a couple times. A version that had Hef Tauber in there as well. Yeah, because I've seen um, versions with Hef. What A wing? Jake. It's got to be Jake. Yeah, usually Jake. Yeah, and really, uh, yeah, just Cassian, Braylon, Wedge, and Jake. You see, you've got Arvel. <coughs> yeah, it had Arvel so in it. Oh, you no, want? No, you, yeah, Wedge, because that's the old uh, Rebel Beef. Mm, so I see keep, what you're keep, saying. Yeah, you keep Raylan, mm. you add Wedge. Uh, and basically, at this point, the only... Uh, so it looks yeah, something like that. Yeah, something mm-hmm. like that. At that point, it's essentially your old... Um, the original Rebel Beef. That was that was that was winning a lot of tournaments back then, mm-hmm. and the only thing you do is you give up um, ten num for Arvel, and it's not that huge of a loss because Arvel is, is still is still relatively tanky because of the amount, because of his agility, and on top of that he has um, you know the ability to uh, make turn everyone into wedge, and then wedge be able to double wedge in people because that's yeah, that intimidation yeah, here. I don't know if you can see plus, it on the screen. No, you can't see the, it. Uh, agility off down, yeah. Yeah, so that combo with Arvel, which uh, is a super interesting piece. It's, uh, so Arvel can perform attacks at range zero, and you can boost into uh, somebody uh, and partially execute the boost. So you can end up touching them then, uh, which uh, then activates uh, intimidation. Uh, while an enemy ship at range zero defense, it rolls one fewer dice. So it works for him shooting at range zero. Yeah. And when everybody shoots at that target as well, uh, you can get it. He's a great blocker. You can run into uh, like those I-1 or I-2 uh, ships because he's I-3. And double wedging aces uh, sounds gross, dude. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and turning agility to one. And then when you add Braylon's uh, ability to reroll plus have a focus, yep. and then you add the reduced agility. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that, 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 that's, I, that's a hard time. I still say so that. Uh, pretty good. Um, I still say that uh, the third piece there, you don't, you don't necessarily need Wedge. There's a lot of other pieces you could get for 55 <laughs> points in Rebels, but uh, the Arvel, Cassian, and Braylon. Um, yeah, but the initiative six is still, you know, it's still nice to have an initiative six. So I'm going to ask you to do me a favor because I'm yes. uh, becoming a little self conscious here. What? So on the uh, stream, you have me like zoomed in like. To my forehead, all I can I I can see. Oh. <laughs> my, yeah, like like zoom out a little bit, man. Give me um, little, give me some room to breathe here. I like I'm I'm feeling all all. <laughs> okay, yeah. well give me one second here. I I could do that. I know. Like you want zoomed out? Yeah, zoom me out. Then while you're saying that, so those are how about, you know two of like that. Two Is that those. better? I gotta I gotta show my screen, but that's fine. Maybe yeah. if I do. 
If I do like that, there you go. Now you can't see my screen. That's good. Fantastic. Yeah, much better. I think. Uh, but. Anyways, so, yeah. So, anyways, that's uh, you were saying we were, we we're done talking about uh, strange <coughs> rebel beef now, our Arvel beef, whatever that means. Yeah, but um, I think I, I'm not exactly sure why he put two beef lists in, in the rebels. I think that's probably why. And and again, for those listening, uh, Dion kind of put this together based on um, I guess since he's been traveling and mm-hmm. seeing most of these tournaments, just what he's been seeing no. firsthand. I mean, those uh, those but, are definitely um, uh, two of the uh, more familiar rebel lists. Archetypes, there's, yeah. Well, it's yeah, it's beef or more beef, but I but I do think there's 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 room in there for um, for other things. You know, we're, we haven't talked about Han. I think Han's still going to be mm-hmm. um, a player, a potential player. <laughs> Excuse me. And then uh, I think Wedge Luke plus something. Uh, it ended up getting second place in in Australia. In Australia, uh, I did okay with it in, at at Nova. Uh, so I th- and then I've also seen like um, I, I think you're gonna get a, a, a mixed bag of things. I also think that Hira in the VCX mm. has a lot of potential. Everybody's looking at uh, Rack uh, lately, but but Hira has. Just almost as much potential as Rack, um, because she's she's a lot more slippery than Rack. Still has the coordinate, still has similar amount of health, and hits as even though uh, Hero doesn't get as many mods as Rack mm-hmm. with Sagarera and uh, rolling four primary dice, still gets um, just as much uh, damage output than than Rack. So I think I think. Um, I think that's going to be a sleeper. Is is Hira? Uh, makes sense to me. She's got the reinforce for swarms. She's got the attack power, attack power to punch through high defensive ships. And she has the ability to keep um, time on target with with the turret, plus the ability to K turn, um, mm-hmm. and still with Sagar put out damage even without that. And when you're K turning, you usually know that you're doing so in, in a place that you're not. You're not um, taking too many hits because you're choosing where you're going to go at the last minute. Oh, sure. I mean, she's got actual repositioning. Uh, you know, it's not much, but it's something at I-5 on that large base. I think, uh, I mean, really, is Wedge, uh, Wedge is still just holding the um, Rebels together, in my opinion. Every list seems to still have them, whether it's with Han or... Um, with Luke, well, he's and still good. Kind of... I mean, Initiative Six and his ability is good. Luke, so good. definitely a million times better, but um, still, it's 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 a lot better at a at a premium. Right, and well, even let's... not that much of a premium anymore, but still a premium. All right. Well, let's keep it moving. Uh, sure. We'll move on to uh, Imperials. Mm-hmm. Let's get up the first list for them. Uh, so this is the meta call here. Uh, which is Triple Ace. Um, I would, I, I know he put Triple Ace. I would call it um, Darth Vader Sunter plus one. Because mm, you can go Darth yeah. Vader Sunter and a shuttle, Darth Vader Sunter and Duchess, Darth Vader yeah. Sunter and the Reaper, I think is a good alternative now, Vermeil, with, uh, again, especially if you're flying against the, uh, the Nantucket things. <laughs> yeah, totally. um, yeah, you've you having medium bases, medium or large bases around uh, for those anti ace lists uh, comes in handy, especially if you can um, go in there and jam it. Um, then then yeah, you get in there and you jam it, and you make you you know you take care of Sunfac a lot easier with a bid, a tokenless Sunfac, and um, Two initiative six moving after him. <clears throat> so, yeah, and Duchess is good too. I mean, Duchess, uh, this specific list I think uh, is flawed, but yeah, definitely flawed. <laughs> what would you do to it to make it better? Uh, can I get a. Oh, uh, you're flying a three health soon, Tyrion? Uh, I'm saying, can we get 
Precog on that Vader. Yeah. Still a four point bid. That's the best uh, I'm trying to best I can do about that. Sense is okay. I'm I'm not excited about sense. I don't know. What you think? I don't. I don't fly the aces. When, well, when I fly uh, Darth Vader and Soon Tier, I try to fly them as cheap as possible. That's how I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, I'm muted. The, was I muted the whole time? Uh, yeah, I was talking about. <laughs> I was talking about. No, I heard. I heard what you were saying. Reflexes. That was, is that worth it? I don't know. No. I, sorry, I was muted because I was coughing. But uh, yeah, I would just go with, take pre, take precognitive reflexes out, put in um, passive sensors. Oh, see, I, I like passive sensors on Vader as well. It's not yeah, bad, yeah. but you kind of want the bid though, so it's hard to say. It is interesting to un so Nantex. Barrels rolls you at the end of activation, but then you barrel roll back with passive then you sensors. Get, yeah, lock. then you get yourself back to where you want it. Yeah, it's so kind even of if funny. You, it's yeah, <laughs> if, he, if, he, if he moves you out of where... Um, yeah, you can jump out of his bullseye if there's room. It's some interesting yeah, tech. So you move first, he moves in, he repositions you. You're like, mm, the, well, the only difference is if he boosts you forward, um, then you know you can't reposition backward. Well, but for the most part, you know, just fly better. Don't don't um, don't end up where in, in that kind of situation. But uh, yeah, I still anyway. like uh, I still like uh, I know Dion was running bombs on his Duchess. Yeah, I think that's see, still I would, worth it. I, I would take uh, out I would take out um, Predator. I would take out Fifth Brother. What? No, just keep oh, Fifth Brother. Oh, I would definitely would take out Fifth Brother. That's I would really take crazy. out Predator, Fifth Brother, and I would replace Seismic with um, Proximity Mines. And just, you know, with her ability, just shoot behind people and, and drop, you mm -hmm. know. You don't always have to shoot. Just shoot behind people and drop it on them. That's fair. I think I'd rather have the, the Seismics for Swarms. That's kind of a counter there. But, um... I want to talk about something a little bit more interesting than Triple Ace. Mm. And that's going to be, this is the dark, uh, the dark horse for the Empire. And it's <coughs> one Italy? Is that right? Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. Oh, Italy, I'm pretty sure. I may be wrong on that. What is Dion doing? He messed this one up too. So let's fix it. All right. Take Seventh Sister out of that and put Proximity Mines on both. Oh, Yeah. Uh, because of, uh, can you explain Moth how Gerard, Moff yeah. Gerard and Proxy Mines work? Yeah, so everybody? basically what this is doing, they both have soft mods. Uh, uh, actually, oh, yeah, and actually, sweep, the, sweep, sweep, switch those around. You, you, you want members. to have, yeah, yeah. you want to have, exactly um, what you're saying. Vader should be on Rear Admiral and Sister should be over there. Yep. Seven Sister? Oh, man. Yeah, I just yeah, lost yeah. it. Seven Sister. Because uh, Seven Sister is always interesting because it says, yeah. if an enemy ship at range 0 to 1 would gain a stress token, you may spend your force to have a gain a jam or tractor instead. Mm -hmm. So if you block somebody's K-turn, they just ran into you. Range 0, boom. Take a tractor, plus intimidation, plus my four dice attack. What's up? Uh, then I'm going <laughs> to... So, uh, wait, no, do, you have, I, do you have Moff to ride I, on I, Rear Admiral or do you have it on Oikum? No, I have Moff Gerard on Oiken and Dauntless on Rear Admiral. There you go. Because, uh, because it's the initiative rear Admi timing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, re re Rear Admiral is more likely to... Well, a couple of reasons. One is Rear Admiral is more likely to bump than Captain, even though Captain is the one that wants to bump, mm -hmm. because people are typically running away from Oiken and <laughs> trying to bump Rear Admiral. Makes a lot of so, sense. Yeah, nobody wants to be close to Oiken, so he's not going to bump as often as Rear Admiral. And then you mm -hmm. want Moff Gerard on Oiken because of the initiative you want to be able to trigger his ability um, before Rear Admiral has so me, his system face. So exactly. To, so let me yeah, read. So let me read Moff Gerard for just a second. 
During the system phase, which would be at Orkin's initiative of three, you may spend mm -hmm. two charges, which is the two he has for, that are recurring. Re if you yeah, do, rechargeable. Mm -hmm. If you do choose the uh, one bank, one forward, or one bank right template, each friendly ship may perform a red boost action using that template. So you're able to boost, and then, uh, because it's still like in system phase, drop the proxy mines. Yeah, so it basically turns you into um, sort of a... Well, it actually has so many different... Um, Abilities. I mean, it's so many different things that 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 why it makes yeah. sense. You can block lower initiative ships as well by boosting yeah. before or, they move. Exactly. So if you're flying against a swarm, mm -hmm. then you can boost yourself to where you know they're going to be, where they're going to be, and you deny them all your actions. And then afterwards, you move. And even if you bump into them again, you know that you're right where you want to be. Um, and you can lose your stress after you boost, so that that's that's not that that huge of a uh, of um, you know it's detriment. not that bad. Yeah, it's not that huge of a detriment. And then um, again, it gives you a basically a little more than four different places where you can end up putting the um, the proximity mines. So you can put the proximity mines right behind you, or if you need to boost and then drop the proximity mines somewhere. Uh, basically in front of you, especially with Oiken. If he bumps into somebody, then he can boost out of it mm -hmm. and drop proximity mine right behind after after that bump. Um, yeah, so dude, it's it, pretty it's pretty nasty. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's quite... Uh, yeah, it just gives you so many options. And it also makes them really hard to, um, to block and predict because you never know when they're going to take advantage of that. And it's hard to range control because of that, um, just how fast. Yeah, I'm trying to scroll ships, down here and see what. Uh, yeah, large. What are they, uh, are they? Now they still only clear their stress on one banks, one forward and two forward. But yeah, I mean you're a large I mean, base though. You're so. a large base. You're still you're still covering a lot of a lot of ground, and both of these ships don't mind bumping. So even even if you clear you know to clear your stress, you end up bumping. It's not that big a deal because one has dauntless, the other one has. Um, you know, intimidation and and the ability to shoot after touching at somebody anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so, super, super nasty. Yeah, actually, I, I, I would, I would, I wouldn't call this a dark horse. I mean, I guess a dark horse. I mean, well, let's see, it's because it it's I, I would say like, they, you're you're only going to see like one or two, maybe you know, uh, in the in the tournament. I, I would say you see you'll you'll see maybe five. You'll see at least one or two per day. I think. Yes, that's fair. But like each player is only going to see this I... like once. You're going to see this like round six, and you're be like, "What is this?" Yeah, uh, round one. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, so you do. Uh, so there's a couple. But it other... does have some pretty, um, you know, aces still fly circles around it. That's the problem. That's true. Yeah, gotta be careful. All right. So there's a there's definitely a bunch of imp other imperial ships um, to mention. Uh, let's see. It looks like we got uh, Hatchet Man, which is kind of just a variation on uh, Toon Tier Vader uh, Duchess, but it's just like, or uh, what did you say? Toon Tier it Vader Psy? Uh, no, it's a shuttle, yeah. Yeah. And it's so, not it's not Psy. It's usually um, Jenden. Jenden, well, that gives the target lock for. Mm -hmm. Cause they, they love them locks. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Uh, that's Hatchet Man. Passive Sensors News? I think there. Are, I think passive sensors. You know, again, we're talking about worlds now. Sure. If we were, if we were talking about uh, Gen Con, mm -hmm. Nova, uh, L LVO, or any of these, I, I probably wouldn't bring them up. But uh, Europeans. One thing that I did learn while I was over there is Europeans love their passive sensor ordnance. They love it. So uh, you'll see plenty. I think of passive sensor news. Uh, some passive sensor. Naboo's passive sensor, uh, first order for sure. Um, this is just a popular upgrade over there uh, that that I noticed, and it and it 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 did good. It didn't do great, but I think um, it it presents really tough matchups for a lot of ships, especially like a lot of the AC ships. 
I mean, it makes sense to me. Uh, cause they're, with the the news, they want uh, two agility, seven health. They can take a round yeah. of fire without a defensive token. Oh, no, and they don't even need the defensive token because usually they have Jenden or something like that. That's and true. Just, yeah. yeah, can you fit, what, three in Jenden? I want to build a list. Actually, no, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. They, they, do, they don't have a defensive token because they're taking the... So, yeah, basically you just take uh, passive what sensor. Kind of, what kind of missile are you doing, protons? I thought I saw three protons and uh, soon tier. And, yeah, you can fits. do that. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, I think that's what bit, I that fits with predator even. Yeah, but Tunter wants a bid. Um, well, you only get three points. Yeah, but what you can do is you can take the higher initiative once. Um, Tenon fits in there pretty good, by the way. Yeah, he can also take yeah, passive sensors. He could. Title. Well, he doesn't need the title if he's taking passive sensors. So mm, that gives him a target lock already. There, I guess. Shoot, my informant. You got some options there uh, for them. That is scary. I don't really want to face yeah. just four dice attacks coming in. Though I don't yeah, like I don't like paying for protons if they're single modded though. No, and and I wouldn't either. That's why you know there's there's other ways to load them out. But ultimately, they're I mean it's it's still a seventh health ship that uh, once you put their title on them, uh, they can take that initial lock shoot or or take you know with the passive sensors they're going to take the the um, the lock shoot and have the potential to still have that lock potential you know at the end of it and with their configuration upgrade to be able to shoot while locked uh, oh yeah i didn't even put that on there that's right you need you need the arsenal loadout yeah yeah uh and then, actually I, I like one of them with uh diamond boron missiles mm, that's some interesting tech it gives it saves you a few points. A and, lot of points. Uh, you can get a real yeah. ace in there if you run a diamond boron. Well, you can do one plasma, one diamond, one proton. You know, and, Shoot, and can you, you really fit Vader up. in there if you do that? All that. One of them with a plasma. Naked. Uh, no. naked. That's mm. not good. <laughs> 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 no, probably not. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do that, but. You can get a fifth brother whisper out there. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not bad. I mean, that's just a little thing. I, I, th I think uh, again, I probably wouldn't load an entire squadron like that, but just the um, the way oh, that yeah, people used to fly the two bombers with barrage rockets. Uh, kind of similar. Of, just, uh, just meat shields that uh, put out damage. So speaking of meat shields, uh, I think it was man. I just saw it uh, just like yesterday, uh, just earlier today too. The two defenders and the shuttle. Uh, was it a sh well? There's you can do a soon tier. You can do a shuttle. I've seen two defenders and a shuttle and Psy. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. This is. Uh, what do you you bring the Onyx then if you bring Psy? Uh, no, I think they had like fire control system on both, and then he had uh, you can. Or even you can drop those fire control systems. Uh, like drop the title. You need the title drop with Psy, right? You're crazy. Well, why, why do you need the title? What does the title say? Because you're coordinating. It says after you coordinate, you need to get a lock. <coughs> and what does side do? What size ability? When she coordinates uh, an action, she gets an action. So she coordinates a, a delta a focus, and she gets focus target lock. Yeah, but you don't need the title. You do sensor, uh, passive sensor. So you coordinate and passive sensor. So you get your focus, and then you passive sensors. So you can get the lock on the ship mm -hmm. that actually ends up in front of you. That's not bad. Not on those guys. Oh, on her? Yeah, on her. So she, with the title, so she gets the free focus and then passive. So she focused passive sensors, basically. Doesn't make any sense. I have no idea where you're going with that. Because what, is her, what is her first action? Focus. Oh, coordinate. What is she coordinating? One of the deltas. What is she coordinating the Delta? One action. Anything. You can't really coordinate uh, passive sensors. No, you can't. It says you can't. Anyway, whatever. Uh, Anyways, we're getting... <laughs> like, yeah. We're, getting we're saying two, def two Deltas, or uh, is it just always Deltas? I think that's the biggest question. I think so. I mean, six points is a lot to go up. 
Yeah. And then they run the risk of getting blocked a lot more. You want to be able to move that initiative on so they get all their tokens. Yep. See, so I've seen... Uh, I've seen that you can sneak in. I mean, it's the same problem that you got 62 points in Empire, so that's like that's like a good shuttle. It's soon tier. Um, I don't know, a uh, phantom. Yeah. You can put a lot of things in there with the defenders. Well, they're yeah, not out got yet, 52 but 52 points, but uh, yeah, I think that there's something in there. They're tough to take down, dude. Seven health, double mm -hmm. modified most of the time on three agility. <sighs> that's a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on. Yes. Uh, we're going to switch out to... Whoa, crazy. Uh, we're going to the Resistance. Uh, first one up here is we have Poe Dameron in 3A. Is Classic that... archetype. Okay. You think this, that's This good. only has... This has a, does not take a 17-point bid. It's just... No, no, no. I, I, like shows. I said, you know, again, just the owners dealing with with a, a an issue with a tragedy... Um, his mind's not all there putting this together, so we appreciate him putting it together. Um, but let's let's just, you know, you say, do you think this is a winning archetype? O plus three, uh, A wings. I mean, yeah. <laughs> You do? I mean, post. I mean, maybe, can it win games? Yes. Uh, can it? Uh, will it go like? Is it easy to win games? No. You still have to fly it well. Yeah, I, I, I actually think this would, this would. I like it. I think it's a ton of fun. I just don't think it's. it's I know. Uh, well, see, that's. I mean, Poe is basically just when you combine two A wings into one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's really what, or when you really want an I six uh, A wing, essentially. Yeah, I mean, I just saw Nick Cameron. Tobin flying a version of this where he was flying Poe, Greer, Tally, and... Uh, not Tally. Oh, yeah, Poe, Greer, Tally, and Finn instead of Zari. Mm. Um, and he did pretty well with it, but not everybody Not everybody Nick Tobin, though. <laughs> yeah, not everybody flies at the level that he flies at. Um, so that's, you know, that's that. Yeah, for some of the co-pilot. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what he had, I think. Well, I mean, this is this is your slim po. This is your seven seventy three point slim po, mm -hmm. and uh, you should put heroic about optics on any A wing. No matter I don't care who you are, uh, should have heroic and optics. Uh, and this one just I uh, put crack shot in there on a couple of them, because Tally. I mean, Tally can find crack shots in. Yeah. Uh, while Greer uh, shoots rear arc a lot, it's mm -hmm. got to make those front arcs count. It's got to make those range ones count. Yep. All right. Uh, but, but that's I mean, that's basically Poe po and friends, Poe and little friends. Yeah, again, I think um, it's it's okay. I don't think it's gonna you're gonna see a lot of that. I don't think you're gonna see a lot of Poe period. I I agree. Well, there's faction prizes, dude. We're seeing everything. Welcome to 2019. Wow, the resistance got a lot of pilots. Uh, here's some more. This is Triple X Finn. Uh, I think uh, this is what uh, Ryan Sanzuski was flying. Uh, mm -hmm. I saw Daniel flying it, I think. Uh, down in Nova as well. Uh, I, I love me some T-70s. Uh, it doesn't have to be Poe. This one's got Lieutenant Bastion, great free locks. Uh, Tamlin Wexley, composure uh, for uh, basically free stuff. He either gets a free boost or a free focus token. Amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, Just Papa, same thing. Free rerolls. Can use a droid. Get a bunch more rerolls. And Finn just saying free stuff. Just I'll just get free results as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's just so action efficient. I think um, you got to get rid of uh, auto blaster on Temin. Well, yeah. I mean, this is not. Yeah, I don't know why this, it's there. And you put <laughs> yeah pattern analyzer there. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, because you're running. This is the point about these X wings is that they they come in so affordable, and everybody in this list can double modify essentially three attack dice, mm -hmm. right? Uh, if Tamlin's can go focus target lock, Bastion can go focus target lock. Jess has focus three rolls. Finn has heroic his ability and uh, probably an extra focus laying around. Yep, yep, yep. No, it this, suffers this from is, is just, it suffers I, I from that, any other problem that like uh, it doesn't have high initiative. Highest is what four. Yeah, but, but I think this is just a more independent and better version of uh, Rebel Beef. 
because Rebel Beef, yeah. uh, once you start losing pieces, they they suffer a lot. But the T70s with their dial, their boost, they they have a little bit more staying power when when, when they're left out alone. Oh, that's a hard comparison because Rebels get Leia. No, they do. But I'm saying once once you start losing ships and they start becoming independent ships, just mm-hmm. like um, these perform better one on one than than the Rebel Beef ones. Oh man, you you got to convince me. I love some T70s. It used to be uh, you could still run four T70s um, with uh, just get some crack shot Reds in there. Yeah, you still could. I mean, they're not. I I think they're. Uh, very good. Uh, it's it's a shame that the A wings still outshadow them, because uh, yeah. there is. Uh, I mean, definitely. Uh, instead of Poe, you just split that Poe into two A wings and you have five A wings. Then, right? We've seen that. Uh, um, uh, who was who just won it in? Uh, I'm blanking out uh, on the name. Starts with the B. Just won what? Uh, with uh, the five A's. Did I, did uh, am I correct in that? Didn't five A's win a big tournament? Oh yeah, uh, you're talking about Bartos. Bartos, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he won the UK national, uh, the the grand championship in UK, with it. Yeah, still a great list. Um, it doesn't run uh, runs blues instead of Lulu now. Yeah, yeah. So you but got two blues: Zari, Greer, and Tally. Uh, you don't really, you really don't suffer much because I, I think you get better uh, blockers then. Yeah, and I think Lulo was actually a little bit of a um, hindrance on that list. Yes, it could put out more damage, but I always made, flew right for away, Lulo. He, I always went right yeah, for him. Everybody always does, and then <laughs> running away, it other ships can run away better than Lulo because once mm-hmm. Lulo tries to run away, he's gonna end up stressed, and you know whatever range he can get on you. Uh, kind of defeats the purpose because he's lowering his own agility anyway. Yeah, uh, that's fair. I mean, we're gonna see that. You're gonna see five air wings flying around. Um, mm-hmm. It's gonna be good. This is an interesting one. Actually, we kind of want to build this out and show it. Uh, this is Chewbacca and a bunch of pods. Uh, you could also sneak in. I think you can get four <coughs> pods in there. Yeah, you can get four pods. Um, yeah. Four pods. You got 24 points uh, to get a bunch of cool things on Chewbacca. Well, you you you, you got to make Finn be Finn. Well, no, you don't have to put heroic on you, him. You kind of do. You, and this one, you kind of do. Mm, you make, you make Finn be Finn. That's the flavor of it. See, I've seen also that you can run a cheap Chewbacca and you put a uh, well, nice T70 in there, too. Yeah, that's you put the uh, Lieutenant Bastion. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, look, uh, yeah I think that's the way Ethan, Ethan was flying it in, um, in the hyperspace trial here, yep, in I think he had a. Did he have a naked fin or a naked Chewbacca? Do you just have heroic on the? No, he had cr- he had crack shot on Rose because Rose already gets re rolls. Mm, that's true. So you get crack shot, heroic, naked Chewbacca, and uh, Bastion. That's, that's dastardly. Uh, you can't leave that Bastion alone. He'll get you. No, Bastion is 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 is, is a mean one. Um, just the ability to to yeah, take so advantage but- of other. Yeah, so Bastion's yeah. ability reads, after a ship at range 1 to 2 is dealt a damage card, you may acquire a lock on that ship. Nice thing about this in Bastion, in this build, Bastion is one of the lowest initiatives. He can shoot last in this build. Which um, is a benefit. Yeah, it's right where you want him to. You got five or four shots before Bastion shoots to try to do a damage card on somebody. And it's just yeah. nice action efficiency. Yeah, and all of these are, are pretty... I mean, BB-8 is really the only one that's... that's mm, he's a blocker. That's, yeah, he's a blocker. He's the only one that really dies fast. But other than that, yeah. Yeah, very interesting. I, uh, but yeah, you can... Uh, actually, quite a bit of options there. I would like to see Chewbacca Swarms come back um, and actually perform well. Yeah. Um, well, I think that's it for the Resistance. Moving on to their rivals, the First Order. Mm-hmm. Um, so they've so got Lieutenant Bastion, Kylo yes. Ren, and Quick Draw is like their AC. Um, I, I guess yeah, this, this is the is, archetype that everyone's really. Um, yeah, this is you know, their this end. is their ace. If if we were talking about Hatchet Man, this is uh, this is First Order Hatchet Man. Uh, you got your shuttle, you got your Force Ace, and you got your Brawler, which is in this mm-hmm. one Quick Draw. Yeah, and oh, Quick Draw. It's nice. It up. doesn't. With, it's got a few um, upgrades. Tavison doesn't need any upgrades. It's got eight slots. Don't need any of them. Uh, 
Kylo Ren, you can uh, got hate on him in this build. Uh, quick try, uh, still fits uh, fire control system and special forces gunner. Yeah, you know, I actually still like um, Blackout better than Kylo, even with Kylo. It's true, you can't, Cause, you can't cause, get cause a you lot get... more points in it. Yeah, you Wait, get you 16 more. Move? No move, Blackout? No, 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 you don't put, you just keep him, um, if anything, you just give him the, um, uh, some kind of tech for anti something, but really you, you don't even need that. Just put on taps and put some crew on taps in or, um, you know, Captain Phasma. Yeah, I was going to say Phasma's, really Phasma's right where I'm reaching for. Yeah, so put some Captain Phasma well, you there. Get, you can get a lot of things. Then. You get juicy quick draw. I think if you want a better quick draw, yeah. you got to go down to black draw, blackout. Yeah, actually, afterburners on quick draw is really good. A boosting quick draw is... Yeah, it's yeah, better boost. than shield upgrade. I, no, I used so to fly him with shield upgrade, but no. afterburners is so much better. No, with pattern analyzer, three sloop, focus, and then, boost, and then boost, come back in. Yeah. yeah so. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Turn around, <laughs> focus, boost, come in. Oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, pretty nice. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's kind of like I said the the two ace archetype, Tavison obviously very good, uh, silencers are very very good as well, mm-hmm. and quick draw well not great but can shoot a lot, and that's, that's sometimes all you need. I'm gonna build the, this other one's easy to build. Uh, I'm gonna build I'm gonna build the version we've been talking about, which is uh, um, what okay. K- Kayla ran it. Okay, um, crack shot optics on all of them, and then one of them be in backdraft. Yeah, that's the five SF. I think is it, <clears throat> that's the that's it's the United proof. States SF. Yeah, that it. makes sense. That's the US SF. Um, yep. uh, the, two the, arcs uh, optics. You never have to change them. They're like A wings, but better because uh, they don't have to change their arcs. You got crack shots, so actually your opening joust matters. You got six health on two agility. Um, backdraft Ooh. can shoot three dice out. So if you can sneak backdraft out of the opening engagement, now uh, he's actually getting some work done. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the other option is uh, the Zeta with passive sensors and uh, yep, just cluster actually, missiles. Uh, actually, like. Um, Three of them with concussion. So this is this is a list that I actually think has a lot of legs. So no, just one. Okay, now change two of those zetas to the initiative. Okay, take one zeta out. <laughs> out, not up. Okay, three zetas. Put three, three zetas and put two of them the initiative three guys. Omega. Omega. Oh, I see. You want mixed arms. No, no, no. Put Omega. Put two of them Omega. Okay. There you go. And put Swarm Tactics on both. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then... Uh, this, is, this is in four... I, I was confused because I was really... We were really... <laughs> no, and then, and, then put, put, and then put Quick Draw. Yeah. He doesn't need any of this stuff. He, he needs, needs his Gunner. Yep, you can do whatever you want with the the last po- bit of those points. Then no, 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 you do the same thing with him. You, you, uh, well, no, yeah, you give him um, pattern analyzer and uh, FCS fire control system. Yeah, so he can keep his uh, target lock. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, so that way you can have six. I mean, four ships shooting missiles, and their passive sensors triggers at initiative six. So they have four. Mm-hmm. You have four ships shooting at initiative uh, six. Uh, she's shooting ordnance at initiative six, and then with the Zeta and Omega having the ability to switch their arcs forward or back, um, this, this this that is just yeah. Three dice out of your rear arc is uh, not something most forty-one or forty-six point ships are doing. Yeah, and 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 getting rid of any um, getting rid of any. Any uh, range bonuses on top of that? Yeah, I still don't. I, I'm not the biggest fan of spending all these points to single modify three attack dice. But oh, I, 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 I do. When it I pays mean, off, though, look, it, I, this, it, no this one is pays why. off. Yeah, this is why. Uh, this is why I would, and because you're you have when you take a focus, you're single modifying. Mm-hmm. 
You are. I mean, it's basically yeah. you're single modifying with focus. In this case, you're single modifying with with a uh, target lock, and you get to choose shooting your ordnance runner back. And more than anything else, you get to you get to eliminate uh, range bonuses. And then you take them all, and you mm-hmm. take all uh, single modified. Okay, but you take four single modified um, three die attacks at initiative six. Uh, you know. Yeah, you can have Torkoal, or you can have all you. You can reduce somebody to zero, or you can have all your ships to that it six. Sound, it sounds nasty. Like if I'm if I'm a bunch of I fives, like this is my worst nightmare. Like even if you're an I six, I mean, oh anything, yeah, now you can't PS kill him. You can't do anything. Yeah, you mm. you're just gonna. <laughs> oh, I guess you can arc so dodge them, you. but well, so when <laughs> that's I face where this, uh, the eight arcs come into play. When I face this out in Chicago. Uh, I luckily had a swarm to just gum them up and then to make them spread out so they lost all their initiatives. But I was a bunch of I won, so it's not mm-hmm. like them losing swarm tactics meant anything. Mm-hmm. Interesting. We'll see what. Uh, so surprisingly, uh, I always, I always forget about the first order, but uh, they they got some real lists now these days. Yeah, and I was listening um, to, uh, I think it was uh, the Minox, and they were talking about like how the First Order has not gotten a new ship in uh, going on two years. Uh, they got the the Silencer, yeah. That was their last ship. Yeah, it was sure like it was. Two, two years ago. Silencer came out With right when the, the gunboat did, didn't it? Well, it came out around the time that the, um, uh, the last Jedi movie came out. Mm-hmm. Was that before or after the sheath appeared? I, well, it was, I, I don't know, but it was with, with the last movie, which was two years ago. That's fair. Uh, well, a lot of factions, <laughs> I mean, need some new ships from the last time. Empire got a new Yeah, but ship. they only have four. Empire lost ships in second edition. It doesn't matter. They only got four. Even the New Republic and Separatist ships have more ships than First Order. Yeah. I mean, uh, they only have four ship uh, models. Resistance got three new ships lately. Since yeah, I'm just saying they have three yeah, I'm just ships. saying they have four ship models total. You only get four toys to play yeah. with. Yeah, but SFs, you, we've seen that. As you could build an SF a couple different. Yeah, ways, but though. I'm I'm just saying, you know, just they don't they they have they have, love. They, they have four, and uh, one of them sucks, which is the FO. Uh, yeah, like they get an upgrade every now and again, and the, I don't think the FO sucks, by the way. Uh, they they get an upgrade every now and again, but ultimately they they haven't gotten any new ships, any. And they really haven't gotten anything new. So anyway, let's let's jump on. Anyways, uh, I'm, uh, let let the past die on that for now, uh, and we're moving on into scum. Let's scroll down here. This is moldy swarm. Uh, I I really like this. I've seen it a bunch, played a bunch. Uh, when it works, it works uh, beautifully. Uh, we have uh, Torkoal Mux making people initiative zero with moldy crow. Uh, got Captain Seavor jamming people. When he shoots at them, and three cartel marauders, just uh, six health, two agility, three attack power. Who cares after that point? Mm-hmm. Uh, make somebody zero, jam them, light them up. Uh, if you if you play against this list wrong, uh, you are you will lose in the opening turn. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough list to play against. Definitely a tough list to play against. Um... And it, it sucks for all of them. I think drones probably hate it the least, just because they're already all initiative ones anyway. Yeah, at least they can hit the, but, the dro- <laughs> two attack dice can actually hit these ships. Um, and, yeah. they, and the jam doesn't. They yeah, the zero and the jam um, between really Captain Seabor and uh, Torquil Mux doesn't mean anything to these people. They, uh, <laughs> to these, they're not people. They're little robots. Exactly. Well, I'm hey, trying to robots them. are people too. <laughs> How are they? <laughs> Zippy is, but I don't know what the rest. Uh, of them. Zippy. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, pretty good. I uh, a couple weaknesses with it is that I don't like. Uh, I, I mean, you just have to deal with uh, the cartel modders always just single modifying. At least Oracle can double modify. He can take a target lock once he gets up the multi crow. But yeah. that's a little unfortunate. You have to rely <laughs> on dice there a little bit. Yeah, Especially you if you start K turning. You'll have that, but 
Um, yeah, so good games and bad games with that, that's for sure. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, so this is the Dark Horse, uh, which is <laughs> we're gonna find out. Uh, this is kind of uh, the what do you pull sc- this one out of. Uh, this was oh man. You know, somebody this might have done Poland. well with it, but that doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Somebody no, no. might have done well with it. <laughs> yes. but that doesn't. It really doesn't. Mean mean dark it. horse. Well, it's it's worth yeah. discussing. We're gonna I, we're gonna pull up uh, why uh, what I think is uh, an interesting or not yeah. interesting. What I think we're gonna see, but yeah, we'll take I think, a look I think, at this I think, one. Yeah, sure, we could, but I mean, <laughs> I, I'd rather focus on things that we think we're gonna see next week. Are we, is somebody gonna bring something like this? Yeah, probably, but this would be considered jank. Yeah, you have jank that beats you. You do. You have jank that beats you. Mm-hmm. That that happens all the time. Um, but it's still jank. All right, well, I'll run through it real quick, and then I'll, I think – is it Ketsu? I want to talk about Ketsu. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely All one right. that's so, going to be uh, – But this list, I forget, man, I wish I remembered where uh, where performed well in, but anyways, it's it's okay. Forlam. I've, we've seen them before, Advanced Sensors, Mist Hunter. This one squeezes out some Kira crew, so you can uh, be jumping around through obstacles and stuff. Uh, stopping on a rock, uh, ridiculous stuff. Uh, I got Suesaru, who's basically a four agility ship. Uh, has auto blaster and marksmanship. Has the initiative to actually get some bullseye shots on other aces, or at least uh, like initiative force and things. We got uh, old Tirok with predator, classic uh, scum ace out there. Stripping tokens, shooting at i five, very good, uh, and a, a, a good blocker. We got Uncar Plot out here, uh, easy to get tractor beams out. Has contraband cybernetics uh, for the mini red maneuvers on his dial. The reverses, the sloops, things like that. Uh, when you start uh, combining all these aspects together, now you're tractor beamed. Now you can't. Now everybody on my team is getting defensive rerolls. You can't shoot. The only person you can shoot at is old T, and he's range one. He's getting so many bonuses, you can't hit him anyways. Uh, now you, and then you're stressed and tractor beamed. <laughs> I can see you becoming very, very nasty very, very quickly. But uh, I think the better way to you, other than Uncar Plut, it, to do some tractor beam in is Ketsu Onyo. Do you want it? And that's uh, Ketsu with the title, uh, which lets her. Uh, so if you shoot at uh, Ketsu's start of engagement phase, you can give a ship in both your front arc and tractor, or front arc and mobile arc, a tractor token. And if you hit somebody in your mobile arc and your front arc, uh, range, uh, oh no, has no range. Uh, the defender gains uh, one tractor token uh, as well. So putting out a lot of tractors. Normally see this with old T. Um, and been seeing it with uh, either, so you basically have three options. Um, well, you've got several options at this point. You, I've seen it. Mm-hmm. Um, the the go- most frequent one, I have not seen a lot of this. but You, you know. can get Torkoal in there. I'm That's just saying a, I haven't seen a lot of that, you know, because you, usually the way that that it's built out, you have the Shadow Custom no, title and you the, put you get the uh, traditional cable yeah, you in get, there. Yeah, the cable with uh, dorsal and oops, not hot shot. Better in turret gunner. Oh yeah, you got to get Maul crew. Yeah, you got to get Maul and you got to get Fearless. So that's that's the staple right there. I mean, you could run, you can put crack shot, you can put predator, you can just leave ulti. Yeah, so that's, that's the this is the standard. This is this is uh, what uh, this is what Dune was flying in the world. Yeah, um, yeah. Or not world. Uh, yeah, that's the standard. And then you start breaking yeah, up yeah. and doing things like I've seen somebody do uh, replace Cavill with um, with uh, uh, Talon Beam. Not Talon Beam. That was, that was, I think uh, I think old that, Pharaoh was flying Talon Bane originally. Yeah, yeah, no, not that, not that. You replace him with the, where is he? You talking Torkoal? Uh, no, Kimojila. Oh, really? Yeah. What kind of uh, what kind of loadout you got for your Kimojila? And then you, you put know Tarani. Cool, though. You know, yes, yeah, Tarani with um, snapshot. Uh, no, 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 no. Tarani with. Uh, cluster missiles. Oh yeah, I love uh, R five TK cluster missiles. Uh, so you end up and uh, munitions fail safe. So you lock old T yep. or Ketsu. Yeah, and it's the same points as Ketsu. Uh, so basically, it's similar to Ketsu, but you're you're using missiles instead of that. Even though I like Ketsu better, I mean, even though I like Cavill better. Cavill. And then the one that Para is running now, Paratani. 
uh, Masiej, he's actually running uh, Sivor. Sivor? Yeah, Sivor. And? I assume there's an and on that. Yeah, and a uh, tugboat. Oh, we must have to drop that fearless then. Uh, he's dropping something else. I don't think he's got Ultrarock. Was going to have to have something there. He must not have Maul. Must have something cooler. Maul's anyway, really I, good, I, though. I, I remember he or I remember he had something along these lines, but uh, he, had, he had four ship. Yeah, Ultrarock's pretty good. I, I think he <laughs> may not have had Ultrarock. Maybe he still had. Um, I don't know what he had. <clears throat> Uh, you can slim them down. Uh, the easiest way to shoot uh, real good at range one is telling being Cobra. There you go. And that still gives you... Uh, it gives maul. you points for Maul, and somebody's getting fearless. Fearless, yeah. <clears throat> telling yeah, Cobra's not like bad. 50 points out there. Can shoot five dice at range one. Uh, yeah, I forgot exactly what it was. You can see, I think he was on stream a couple times in Poland, but yeah, sure. that was, he had he had a different variant with four ships, which which I think is pretty strong. I mean, we know Seaver's good. I think Ketsu's real good. So, I mean, it's a front arc at large base ship, so, like, you, you have to fly it. It's not like... Yeah, and, and, and the best thing is that with uh, with a Jakku gun runner, with oh, the ability yeah, yeah. to put two tractor this is, beams... This is your bullseye. Dark Horse list? Hold on. I, I don't care about this. I saw the notes anymore. Uh, you, put, you put in the... Oh, you like my guy? Build. Yeah, yeah. I actually uh, think this is... This, <laughs> I actually think this has... Real potential. Oh, uh, man. Uh, I, I, I just well, have to build turn it. one I, of them into Seavor? I know, I know. Okay. I'm working on it. One Seavor and one's out of room. Uh, yeah. This is a hilarious list. Uh, break, break us down of why this has... I actually have this, not lost with it yet. And uh, one this of is the best six snapshots you're going to get. That's for sure. Yeah. So how, how does it work exactly? Yeah, so basically you have six snapshots. Um, and you have five... Thai mining guild. So if you know mining guild's uh, native ability is that the mining guilds during movement phase, they do not take, uh, they ignore rocks, not obstacles, just, uh, just asteroids. So they can fly through asteroids. They have three agility. Uh, they all have snapshot uh, and Captain Seavor has the ability to jam someone initially when uh, with that, with that initial snapshot. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, Outer Rim Pioneer, his ability, and he's also a, an Initiative 3 um, with Snapshot as well. His ability says, and, uh, friendly ships that range 0 to 1 can perform attacks even while on asteroids. So basically gives um, these ships uh, struts, uh, grappling struts. So you have a grappling strut, 6 Snapshot, plus Jam. Um, and all of them have, well, all of them except Outer Rim have three agility. So it, it, it you're I shooting six, say. you're shooting a total of 12 times, potentially shooting up to 12 times, 24 dice, um, at rank, you know, potential of, of, of 24 dice in one turn. And six so of those shots uh... are pre modded before their mods. So let me ask you in, in, in your play with this. Yeah. Uh, why didn't they just shoot the Outer Rim Pioneer so that the Mining Guild ties couldn't shoot while sitting on the rocks? Because I usually, I not usually, I always flew the Pioneer behind, and you have to fly the Pioneer and Seavor behind because the Mining Guilds are all Initiative 2. Seavor and Outer Rim are Initiative 3. So they're, they're always bringing up their ear. So they have to go and eat all of the snapshots. And then if they go too fast, they'll still get snapshot by Outer Rim and Seavor. And then they'll end up in a bunch of range one shots against uh, the, the mining guilds. So, yeah, uh, usually Outer Rim, uh, Pioneer. Actually, I don't think Outer Rim ever died in any of the games. I, I played it like four or five times. And that's just because... I mean once, once it, they get into the mix of things, yeah. he's just he's he's less worried about keeping arc than he is just about uh, circling up with the and, tie fighters. Yes, yeah, swirl swarming around and and keeping range. Because your dials, people, you, you're you're matching one of one of the better <laughs> dials in the game with literally the worst small ship dial. Yeah, and then uh, in reality, ninety percent of the people will always go against Captain Seavor anyway. People don't like him. Yeah, I mean he's he's horrible. He had <laughs> he's horrible with snapshot. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, so that's, anyway, this, that's, this, that's I, a I dark think... horse. I don't know if uh, I don't even. I don't, how, I don't how, would, how do you? Yeah. How do you fly against it? It's got six arcs. Um, you get to range they, control they, and then not get got blocked. Range control. So good luck with that. And uh, they're not really caring about flying through rocks, so they they're able to keep their formation. Yeah, I, uh, I would love to see this verse like some vultures. It's gonna, it's like it's gonna be struggling. Yeah, I think the vultures will have a little bit of an advantage just because they move at initiative one. But, um, but yeah, yeah it's All still right. it's, it's a solid list. All right, well, enough of scum shenanigans. We're moving on to Republic? Question mark. Yes, Republic. And this is uh, the uh, high ground. <laughs> I believe is the official name for it. Uh, this one has, wait, no, the uh, high ground had R2A6, but, you know, healing's good, so can't discredit that. Um, but this is basically Anakin Skywalker 7B uh, with uh, healing, Obi-Wan with sense, calibrated laser targeting, and either healing or R2A6 to change his dial. You need and to Rico. have healing. I mean, you know what's better than healing? Not getting shot at? Uh, you're going to get shot no matter what. Well, it's they're the same amount of points. They're both R2 droids, so some sort of R2 droid. And Rick Olay with Predator and Healing. So uh, pretty much triple healers, triple aces, high initiative. This one gives a little bit of a bid. You only get 198. That's not too bad. Because you have uh, Sense, um, the Aids of Sprites can double reposition. Rick Olay's got a bunch of agility. He's super undercosted. He's only 48 points in this build. It's pretty ridiculous. But, uh, uh, yeah, we saw uh, uh, Carson do well with it in Gen Con. Um, I think it's, wouldn't you agree, probably the standard uh, Republic Aces list right now? No, I think... Um, Get your, <laughs> I, that was a trick question for you, but... Well, no, I mean, me personally, I like Baby Annie better than... I, I, I mean, I think, I think we have the right trip. I was just, I was just waiting for you, just like, no. The Anakin, Anakin's a little bit too old for my... Oh, you, know, you want that young need, Annie? Fair enough. Yeah, I need I need the neat trick, you know. But uh, yeah, I think you do the the, little, the more, the more standard a yeah, little baby Annie. But I think the the archetype that's more likely to do well is the archetype that has the Delta B, uh, Anakin Obi Wan or Anakin Rick plus a um, uh, a, a V nineteen. Because that's the one that ends up giving you a... Anakin Rick <clears throat> V19? Yeah. Or you can... Yeah. Why Why did you say that? What do you need the extra points for? For the strong bid that you need so he never gets shot and never gets killed. <laughs> I'll give you that. That's fair. That's and a 66 throw, point uh, bid. Oh, because I'm a Jedi Knight. That's why. I was like, what? Uh, <laughs> Can yeah. you get the can you get super dude in there too? Oh, that's you nasty. You could, um, you could, and if you drop, but you're better off in that one instead of supernatural. You put that new one that's only thirteen points. Precog. Yeah, so that's just and like yeah, a get out of jail free card, good, dude. You can bring a whole other vulture. No, you put in that you got. You also need advanced sensors on Rick or I'll see. Oh, okay. Yeah, because okay. you don't need him getting blocked either. Okay, just now like 16 yeah. points is a strong bid, sure. Yeah, 16 or 12 uh, or 18 if you take off the Predator. Um, and again, uh, even though that V19 is not really going to do a whole lot, it, it takes a while to kill him with an evade. And at the end of the, after, when they eventually do kill him, they have 25 points and uh, good luck getting any points on the other, on the other uh, two ships. All right, well, let's... Uh, yeah, and also there's move. any OB torrent as well, but anyway, it's the same. There's, a bunch, there's two, a bunch of things. Yeah, yeah, basically two regens and something in a throwaway. Oh, I want to look <clears> at... <throat> oh, okay, so we got, oh. we, got that, we got that coming up next, but... Uh, no, that thing is bad. <laughs> it uh, destroyed this... me. At wait, wait, end, no, is but... this, the, this is the broadside version? Ah, it doesn't matter. They're all bad. He didn't. Uh, I thought he lost to the really Gochi bad. one. He lost. He, oh yeah, he... I lost really bad. But you know, we did the we did the math on that app that does the the percentage. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he had like a nine percent chance to do what he did. Uh, so even well, then, like it's just a bad list. 
don't do it. Don't do that to yourself. Especially uh, if you have to go see, six seven rounds uh, with it. Yeah, no, don't do it. Do it F1. Do it at League Night. All right, well, Dion put up on here the, the veteran turret gunner build, which is fair. That's not terrible. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll tell you what I've been running, uh, which I've mm -hmm. been having a lot of fun with. I drop all those veteran turret gunners for a battle meditation Jedi. What do you think about that? That's the one that gives. Um... Uh, battle meditation says you can only court you cannot coordinate limited ships, so broadsides out. But he's fine in this. Yeah. Uh, while you pr perform a cur purple coordinate action, you may coordinate one additional friendly non-limited ship of the same type. Both ships must perform the same action. So Jedi Knights out there giving these Y-wing Starlocks, basically. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it's uh, you can also barrel roll as well if you get blocked. How, mu how much? How much is that Astromech that gives jam to everyone? Uh, that is seven points. Okay, that's you could put that in there though too. Out other than the, uh, you don't get your configuration though. No, that's fine. So you're jamming and... You jam their ionized ship who don't can't take and, any focuses. Yeah, ions and jams, just, yeah. Basically oh can't, has zero agency in the fight anymore. Just like, Do you oh. think we're going to see this? Do you think we're going to see... Oh, I mean, this is fun. I don't know if it's competitive, though. No, no, I'm talking about you think we're going to see that specific upgrade, the jamming one. Oh, Chopper? That one, that's the one I was talking What did you think I was talking about? No, Chopper. That's what... Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about, like, uh, four Y-Wings and something. T-110P or... is Chopper? Yes. Yeah, because it's C-H-O-P. Chop. Do you see the H? It makes a little H in there. The one dash one. Look at the... I don't know. I don't have a picture of it. Boo. Yeah, I know I see it. Boo. Anyway. <laughs> what? No, that's who he is. That's his name. Okay. He's Chopper. Is um, that why they call him Chopper? Yeah, because he's C-110P. Uh, one P. Yeah, one, uh, exactly. Yeah, so here named Chopper. There's a little backstory on Chop. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so what he does is you can take a, you've got two charges, and you can do two red actions, even while stressed. Um, I like it on Jedi Knights. It's really good on basically any Aether Sprite. You can put it on Oddball, I guess. I mean, you can. I did it one time. It was fun, but, like, I don't know what you're doing with that. But when you do put it, uh, a lot of people have been trying to put it on Anakin Skywalker Aether Sprite. So now it's the timing of uh, Chopper is after you execute a maneuver, you may spend one uh, force to perform a red action. So essentially with Anakin Skywalker, because he can, after you fully execute a maneuver, if there is an enemy ship in your front arc, or uh, at range one. Uh, or in your bullseye, you can spend a force to remove one stress token. Those have the same timing. So the timing chart's a little weird on it because you can't be moving your Anakin around. They both have to trigger it uh, instantly. But basically, you can 5K. You can, uh, or excuse me, you can do a maneuver. It could be any maneuver, not a written maneuver. You say, I'm going to activate both Anakin and Chopper. I'll do Chopper first. Red action. <laughs> um to or yeah red action for the evade and i get stressed and then i'll spend a force to get rid of that stress essentially taking a purple evade which is what anakin can do but then he just gets to focus or he could fine-tune barrel roll fly away like it's it's a lot of action efficiency for anakin but it's not healing though not regen you need regen all right but, next oh uh, <laughs> let's see let's go on to uh, oh, so this is stuck in. I can build this real quick. This is easy. Uh, Sinker swarms. Uh, you have a base. You have a couple of variations now. You can either throw in. Uh, I've seen. Uh, you can throw in like wolf instead of. So I'll, I'll throw out the basic one, which is uh, sinker four torrents, and it started with a uh, second arc. I uh, can now do. You can put Rick in there. Rick uh, can squeeze in there. Uh, you can put, you can put it's Rick. It's usually Rick with regen is what it is. Oh, I mean, why, why are you bringing Rick without regen? You're, you're crazy. Uh, I we saw, I think it was Michelle was running, um, uh, Wolf in there as well. Uh, Rick and Wolf in his sinker swarm. Yeah, that fits. Sinker, torn, torn, healing Rick, Wolf. Actually, I think he had Daredevil on there instead of healing. 
Um, but yeah, there's a lot of variations. It mostly starts with sinker and two torrents, and then as much efficiency as you can. Uh, we're gonna see that uh, quite a bit of it. And the other actually, that sounds pretty good. Two two what? arcs, two V oh, the wolf and Rick. Yeah, yeah, the wolf variants that's, that's, nasty, dude. Yeah, because yeah, uh, that's still five ships. Yeah, and Wolf's out there triple modifying, too. Two yeah, rerolls yeah. and a focus. You got some blockers. You got Rick Olay, uh, who can use Tinker's reroll, too, by the way. Because he's yeah, coming yeah. around the other side with on the flank, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, this is actually, I hadn't seen this particular, because you see the, usually you see the, um, the four troopers, but... Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I mean it's you still get five ships, you still get a ton of health, and you get a what I would think a a bigger punch because um, you can punch through higher agility ships better, and you get a higher initiative ship on top of that. Not bad. Yeah, Wolf's not a bad trade up uh, on two golds. Yeah, very very interesting. Uh, speaking of arcs, the. Uh, uh, the other one is just, well, let me get this down to, all right, so it's Rick, basically two ace, two arcs, um, and there's uh, a couple variations, or sorry, I'm trying to put Obi-Wan out there, so Rick, Obi-Wan, and two 104s, uh, I can put 7B out there, can't put healing on uh, Obi-Wan at that point, but you can put some foresight out there, though. That's fun. Or you can just take a bid. Uh, not bad. Uh, you can also... I mean, Rick is just basically replaceable with one of these uh, arcs, though, too. You can't mm -hmm. just go three arcs in Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. Got, got well, six points. a lot of things we can do. Got uh, eight points to play around with. I've seen that. I've seen Obi, Rick, and two uh, arcs. I've also seen uh, other versions with the um, seventh gunner or what, seventh fleet gunner or something, whatever it is, mm -hmm. the one that gives you an extra attack die, mm -hmm. and that's usually with the OB one that has calibrated on there, so he gets uh, that, that calibrated, and then he he gets the gunner, seventh fleet gunner, yeah, and Rick as well, and then. Oh, your last ship's Rick. That makes sense. Yeah, and the last ship Oof. is Regen Rick, and they those those ships are just putting out some serious damage. Oh, you do not want to eat a four dice range two Rick shot. That sounds bad. Yeah, you get a point in there too. Yeah. No, even a range one Obi, because range one Obi gets. Oh, uh, that's five dice for him because of the calibrated. Yeah, that's not terrible, man. Uh, uh, shoot, you can pretty solid. Uh, you could just arc yourself too, man. If uh, uh -huh. if uh, you think that the arc needs that four dice, fourth dice a lot better, it's not terrible. Why don't you get some Plo Koon in there? Huh? Mm -hmm. Plo Koon can give you four points for there. <coughs> oh, you can't get healing then. You got to drop your calibrated for healing. I don't know about that. Anyways, uh, let's see. So. Last faction here. I'm going through them quick. Now, uh, it is the Separatist. Let me get up the... Uh, this, is a, this is a pretty serious seer list. Uh, this is the... We have uh, here... This is So basically, it's the Ocho, right? Um, Ocho with a relay. And this one squeezes in all the grappling struts... Plus, I can't even get it all on the screen. There's so many ships. <laughs> but uh, that also has... Uh, so T1A... Or TA-175, which gives everybody calculates when the ship dies. Uh, this one doesn't have Solus 1, though. It should have Solus 1. Um, but... Also has three Discord missiles. Uh, to shoot out. So basically, you have, what, then? 11 bodies out on the board? With what? the three Discord... Yeah, because three discords. I count them as ships, kind of. I kind of like little ships. Let's see if you can fit in. Yeah. I don't think you need struts in this one. But, like I said, there's that's just one of so, the options. There's, yeah, you can drop it down to the... You can drop it down to the outlaw. No. So, this is this is the, the, the one that I like. And put it, put it back up on Seer. You want Seer? Do you want yeah. discords? 
uh, no, tr just take everything off out. Yeah, take it all of it out, and then you put Nantex in there with Chertek. Hmm. You put Chertek with his Chertek thirty nine, yeah, with his uh, auto include, and then <laughs> and then you put a tr uh, Trade Federation drone with configuration, and just load them up. Yep. So you get uh, five drones, Seer, and Chertek. So a total of seven ships, uh, five of them with crack shot, um, rerolls. Can't even uh, get them all on screen. There they go. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's nasty. That's only that's seven in a I, relay. I think uh, there's there's definitely a lot of yeah, different versions seven of relay, uh, Yeah, there's seven relay and a tractor beam. So you said you Ooh. spent 80 points on your tractor beam? Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> my, tractor beam could, like, <clears throat> my, my tractor beam was at initiative seven in range three, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. This, this tractor beam is at initiative 20 because it happens at the end of activation. I mean, I'll give you that, but it's also only range one. It is only range one, but... Uh, I know, dude. I've been flying Nantex anyway, a lot. You don't get. <laughs> I, I've, I've been putting this on the table, and really? it's another one that I haven't lost with. Uh, it's it's not unbeatable, but it's still it's seven ships. If you're gonna try to sell out to get uh, Chertek, okay, you're gonna go through a lot to get to him. And if you don't go after Chertek, then he's gonna bite you late. He's gonna bite you once. Uh, you know, the blocks and everything starts happening. And I think what makes them the most broken is two different things. One is that they can still do their ability while they bump. And the second one is that they can pass off the tractor beam to a friendly ship as well. Mm -hmm. and, I think, and I think that's, that's, that's good, the get out dude. of jail because um, that's what makes Chertek and other lower initiative Nantex good, uh, especially when you, when you put them next to Trade Federation drones. Is, um, you go ahead and you sell out and you're like, well, I'm going to, track to be myself and uh, say you're not going to go here and if you end up not yeah, there I got, I got then, a, okay uh, i'm just going to pass it off to my to so my got drone a, uh, that's home. not going to shoot anyway and now i'm going to now i'm going to put him in a position where he will shoot and i'm not tractor anymore so you're still trying to put you know i'm still back to my three agility and a focus yeah i got a funny story with about track to be in my own ship that so I'm um, Sun Fact facing Chertek, okay. Basically, well, not this list; it was different. But, but Chertek, uh, Chertek heads. I have initiative with my Sun Fact, and mm -hmm. I tractor beam one of my vultures into range two of Chertek out of range one, so that when he tries to ensnare, there's nobody there. Mm -hmm. Think about that. That's nasty. Uh, be careful. Uh, and, you could do. Uh, what was the other thing I did? Oh, uh, barrel roll off a, sh a ship who blocked somebody. If you mm -hmm. don't get that ship, uh, or you can actually choose the the vulture who blocked somebody. If you do it right, you can barrel roll them off of them and still get that shot. Then works easier yeah. on large bases. But yeah, it just it's just a lot of things. And I also flew uh, uh, for the first time. Flew that other one that I'm pretty sure the owner did include in there. The um, control aces is what he wrote. Yeah, that's what we're um, moving on to next. This is control yeah. aces. This is what I fought uh, against, uh, which was yeah, I flew the that. Um, yeah, I flew that on Vassal recently. Uh, yeah, you basically go with you don't need any. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I clicked yeah, the wrong one. Uh, you can do a lot of things. I was fighting against Avenue for Afterburners, which isn't too bad. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Uh, well, I actually put grav gravit gravitol whatever on them, uh, just to make them more That's defensive. Fair. Because what I what I what I yeah. and it, it actually came in handy, or would have if I would have remembered to use it. Um, because there was a couple times that I I took the risk and tractor beam someone off, and left myself in in a place where I'm getting shot. So having that extra reroll comes in comes in handy, and the ability to reposition two different ships is is, is pretty good. I played against a, um, a triple. Uh, what are they? The Tide Advanced prototypes and a shuttle. 
Yeah, triple inquisitors and a shuttle. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that I mean, he got half on Sunfac, but yeah, it was a two hundred to whatever half on Sunfac is. It is just it was just really really nasty. Uh, yeah, I think that this is. I'm still I still have mixed feelings about John Grievous. See, uh, but see, here's the other thing. I just don't ignore him uh, when I yeah. fly against him. So you I, know, I actually, fly right at Grievous. I don't care. Yeah, not only that, I, I actually like uh, the other guy. Um, take him out of there and take the gravitationals out. The other guy? You take, mean take Darth Maul? Sith, no. You fit Maul in there, by the way. I know. So you could. <laughs> Uh, what? What do you mean? Who? That guy, the uh, the infiltrator. The infiltrator. Which one? Yeah, that guy. I, yeah, that guy. Oh. Right there, O sixty six. And then you put um, Palp in here. Oh, I'm trying to do a little coordinating, huh? Or you can try code. Yeah, Palp or Dooku, one of the two. Can you not put both? Ooh, no. No, no. Well, you can do Dooku also. Dooku is a little so. bit better. Yeah, so you do a Dooku in here, and basically his ability also allows, and you also put the title if you want on him, but his ability also That's allows well. him to sh- to uh, take an action after he shoots. So, oh, one more thing. You can also throw, um, uh, is there, wasn't there something that gives you double calculates? I forgot. Maybe not. <laughs> you can nah. spend 10 points for cracking if you want i don't think so <laughs> but anyway like whether it's this dooku or Maul, i mean yeah, yeah you could put you could do some you, sticky you just, stuff you could put yeah, dooku you get, heightened perception and tractor beam what's up you guys want to get tractor beamed <laughs> <Dog. But> yeah, <laughs> no actually yeah because it, uh, oh, yeah it's, that's just too bad yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with um, with those two plus one, but I I do like while Grievous is good, I think uh, the infiltrators with their amount of health and um, the force and the other things that they do just. All right, well I'm gonna build just so this is I'm gonna show you the <clears throat> the couple standards here. I think central, yeah. Uh, let me gonna show you the the standard here. Uh, sun six, I don't know, sun fact. And snare, uh, 120 points worth of Trade Federation drones has a two-point bid. That's the pretty standard yeah. one. Uh, you could drop the struts if you're a madman, uh, and but keep the sixth one for an eight-point bid. You could keep the struts and just drop, just drop the whole last Voltaire and take a 22-point bid. That's that's risky out there. Um, I, still I, got, like, I got one more. Uh, yeah, I still uh, like the ability to put Seer, uh, Chertek, and... I mean, I, I yeah, see the value Crack shots are good. Crack shots, tactical relay, mm-hmm. um, all of that is good. I'm, I'm not a big fan of Punchback. I'm really not. He's pretty good. I'll show he you is what good. I've been I think he's good in no. an ace, ace list. I think he's good in an ace list. I don't... Like, if he's just supporting... Uh, if you're just supporting a bunch of Trade Federation drones, you will get further with um, Chertek and an so, extra drone. So you don't like this? I got no. Sun Fact. I got you, you 311, even... <coughs> uh, four struts, and uh, two without. Uh, 311 is the one that? that... I'm sorry? How many ships is that? That's still seven. That's still Sun and six. Okay, so drop 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 sun to sure tech. Let me show you. Well, we just built this a second ago. No, no, no you, now you make it different, and I added add an additional drone. Okay, should we get the struts back then? Do we, no, you got we, we get the struts and seven points then. Yeah, and you get all eight ships. Eight is better than seven. I'm telling you, I mean, eight is better I mean, than seven. I've, I can't sun disagree. Pack, if I run yeah. eight, though, I want. I want TSA or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. TSA patch yeah. down, get a, everybody gets calculates. Well, but that's what I'm saying. Like, when you when you think about uh, in a swarm, I'm not talking about like, you know, when Grievous and Maul, but in a swarm, if you give me the choice between Chertek plus an additional full drone and still save um, 
actually not save any points because this is like one point difference. But if you give me the difference between a Chertek Chir plus a full drone or Sunfact by himself, I'll take Chertek and a drone every time in a swarm. Mm. Eight is better than seven. Okay. I mean, that's... Uh, we'll, we'll see, man. This is what world is all about, is that we're going to uh, match up all these lists and see uh, who comes out of that gauntlet. Um, do you have a, do you have a top pick? If, uh, I know, obviously you're flying your list. You would like to say your list. Um, but do you have I don't a, think it, I don't think my list is a top list. I think my list oh, is, it, it fits my style and I have rounds with it, but it's not a top list. Just like the wedge one, it's not a top tier list. It's just something that I have rounds with. Uh, but what do you, so what's your, what's your bet? If you had, if you had to be putting money on things, what's your bet? World Championship. Uh, on full list? I mean, just like an archetype. An archetype. I think um, I think a force user is going to win for sure. Okay, well. Um, I know that, that that's kind of a... <clears throat> that, only, that only narrows down, like, all the factions. Okay, let me be more straight. I think either uh, Anakin or Vader are, are going to win. Ooh. Okay. I like that. I like that idea. I could get down with that. Yeah, I think it'll be either Anakin or Vader. Hmm. Fair enough. Now I do think there's going to be other lists that make cost. Um, is that is that really what you think it comes down to? Is like we're basically going to have force user fights. Like who's the best force user? Is no, it Kylo? I think that, I th is it I Vader? Think yeah, I think there's going to be other archetypes in there that make it far. I think uh, uh, Ketsu versions. Ketsu brings them all. That's a force yeah. user. Well, uh, not really. I mean, it's got a force upgrade, but he was—he was the apprentice of <laughs> Darth Sidious. Come on, mm. I call that as a force user. Okay, but anyway, so that's that's my prediction. My prediction. Uh, by the, by saying my prediction, I'm saying that I'm not going to win. <laughs> no, actually, I do have an Anakin. So maybe yeah, I you have win. an Anakin. There you I go. I didn't say which Anakin, did I? Oh, uh, all right. <laughs> so I'm still there. So but anyway, and, I think Anakin and or, Anakin. Uh, well, that would be very thematic. That's for sure. And, or Darth. Which, in reality, I'm talking about the same pilot <laughs> at different stages of life. <laughs> no, one, one flies a pod racer and one flies to a trench, man. Oh, and one flies uh, because it's still Vader is still Anakin. I mean, is he? It's this, it, is he it is still, it's still the same blood running through those veins. Okay. It's still the same um, uh, have, you been, have you been watching chat? Uh, no. I apologize to anybody watching live. Uh, I've, I been, I've, been at... I've been chatting a little bit with chat. chat oh, okay. With chat. I apologize for my neglection because I've, I'm not up on the up and up. Uh, for it. Well, uh, any closing thoughts about uh, World Championship? We're not going to do a podcast tomorrow, or uh, not tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Next Tuesday. weeknight, uh, which hopefully uh, works out. Uh, it's, uh, we'll find out uh, tomorrow, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'll be traveling Tuesday, so it's not like I'll be uh, podcasting. I think uh, I think Dion's All traveling too. Yeah. Well, yeah, oh, you're coming out yeah. Tuesday as well. Yeah, uh, yep. Kayla's going to do the last chance, and I have an office in Minneapolis. So I'll I'm going to get some work done in Minneapolis. Nice. Um, so, yeah. Uh, any uh, any last thoughts going into the World Championship next week? Um, same same one that I started with. I'm just really excited. Um, I'm excited to see people. Uh, hopefully this cold will be gone so that way I can uh, meet them, drink with them, and then beat them up in a game. Um, yeah, I'm excited. And you're playing in the last chance qualifier, so that that'll be fun. That's true. Uh, I am. Well, question for you: If you if you make it through, which I know you will, would Four you be two, shooting apparently. for a? Would you be making a Thursday or Friday? Push? I think they just assign you. Um, well, I think they have enough for you to choose. Still, but if, Bobby, what would you prefer? Because assuming that there's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. No, thir I mean, it's Wednesday, but then thir Thursday, you would play two if, days in a row. If, uh, but if you play Friday and you make the cut, then you're playing if Friday, I don't, Saturday. If I don't have to submit my list until Friday, I would pr prefer to play Friday. If if I had to submit my list 
Like after the last chance qualifier, I'd rather fly Thursday then. Wait, so because I would change. Say, I would. I'm probably would gonna change, change my list? list from the last last chance. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I'm probably actually gonna change. Uh, Why? Because I'm. Um, because in what the last chance. Really well? uh, I mean, I guess I'm not changing it then. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you I flying guess, at last chance? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> really. <laughs> Or are you I mean, I've just been flying. No, I know. Uh, I've just been flying. I've been bouncing between the Sun Six. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I was flying a lot of Vader Echo Psy, which I think was really cool. Um, I've been messing around with like Y wings. I haven't seen much yeah. potential there. I Brandon really like. Brandon has been uh, doing really good with um, you know, you know Brandon, right, Brokos? Yeah, Brokos. He's been doing really good with uh, with Echo. Uh, who's the other one? Echo plus one garbage and rack. Plus one garbage. What was that? Like a Tie Fighter or something. Just some. To, oh, okay. To block. Uh, and, okay, fair enough. Hmm. Um, but rack with you know Vader and the full you know the, the full loadout and Echo with um, either passive sensors or other, other you everything. Know, the, you need both yeah, passive just, sensors <laughs> and fifth brother. Yeah, and maybe so. Juke or at least like outmaneuver a crack shot or something. He's had out of... maneuver on him. So yeah, he's had out maneuver. Uh, Juke is good, but yeah, out maneuver is I think a little out. bit better, especially against Jedi. That's true. But um, uh, yeah, so I like to, uh, I like that a lot. I've I've find that it's not. Uh, I love Echo, um, but Vader's um, Vader's just easy to fly. Honestly, mm-hmm. it's not like easy, but like he does the same thing all the time, so um, it's pretty straightforward. And, uh, yeah, so I'm bouncing between that. I was trying out that Arful beef. I really like that Arful beef. It's nasty. Uh, if you can set it up right, it's a hard time beating that. I don't own, I don't have enough Y-Wings to, or, uh, yeah, I don't have enough, uh, Rebel, not Rebel. The new Y-Wings, Republic Y-Wings, uh, to run, uh, that four Y-Wings list, but I don't think that's that. It's fun and it wins games, but it's it's not going to mm-hmm. go four and zero or four and two though. So it'll probably be. I mean, you know yeah. me. I'm really good with six vultures. I've been flying six vultures almost all season. And you don't like what anymore? You think uh, that's had its run its course? You realize that I was running Watt without Solus One, right? Mm-hmm. Like all those games, my my bubble lab was only five health. Do you remember that? Yeah. Uh, because that scares me now. I don't want to run a five health bull blim. But remember, I told you even from back then. I said Seer is better than what, and just because you were doing good with what does not mean that he was better than Seer. I mean, I it's mean, good. Uh, time tells, and Seer is the one that's been. It's, it's the reason why I like Chertek. Or sorry, it's the reason why I like Sunfak over Chertek though too. Is that I want somebody out there who can hit four dice every round. Um, Watt's doing it double modified, but. Well, Chertek is double modified too. Actually, Chertek, you, 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 like you could three dice though for it for yeah, but you, it, like the highest. Yeah, but you you can make the argument that Chertek hits harder than Sunfak because Chertek gets a offensive mod and keeps the the focus for defense, where uh, Sunfak has to either have a single mod offensively or a single mod defensively. He gets an extra die, but unless, he doesn't, he doesn't reroll. Unless you bring 311, then you got evade calculate. That's still offense and defense. So. Eh, it's still not as good as reroll and focus. Reroll two and focus. All right, I'll give you that. Um, maybe it's something to look into. Um, saying, Chertek, Chertek for, uh, but yeah, I mean, MVP. like I said, I've, I, I, it's hard for me to shy away from six vultures just because I have so many games in with them. All right, then just put but seven. it's kind of it's boring though because they do the same thing, almost the identical like uh, moves. Well, that's 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 where I ended up with uh, every time I flew, I've flown a swarm. I always end up burning out around game four and five. Even if I still win, I, I, I burn out like uh, fun wise. Like I stop having fun, mm-hmm. and it just becomes like mechanical. And I'm like, okay, when's this game gonna be over? <laughs> yeah, I was like, all right, we'll kill my vulture. All right, mm-hmm. you did that. Like, is it my turn right. to shoot yet? Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, I did okay. I went four and two with uh, Dooku, um, Dooku six. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, that was good. And I was in pastimes. There was high competition out there, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had some good people. So, I mean, that's that's always an option. I, don't, I feel more comfortable flying Sun Fact uh, than Dooku, though. Dooku's kind of weird. <laughs> Nobody shoots at him, though. You're the only person who shot at him that whole weekend. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, except for the other game where he died and I lost. But like, oh, so in other words, the two games that he got shot <laughs> out of the three games he lost. Well, I was down to two vultures and Dooku, and then they started shooting at Dooku, I so gotcha. uh, they weren't really shooting at him. So, I mean, I still got what like a week. I got a week to practice. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm. I'm it's not a hundred percent, but I'm still considering just going down to Springfield. Um, I know. I, I, I wanted to. I was all excited about it, but uh, with worlds coming up, I can't make a second trip like that. Not back to back. Well, I'm I'm considering going. Just you should. Even if, yeah, I mean it's a couple hour drive, and um, why not? So we'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll show up. Maybe not. Not not. The, right. I got the tickets already. Just whether I drive down or not. Well, there you go. Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully you do get some practice mm -hmm. in. I'll see what's up because your list is actually hyperspace legal too. Yeah, it is. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, All right. Uh, that pretty much closes out our uh, worlds. I'm just excited to see everybody. Uh, it's <coughs> gonna be a great time uh, playing some games. We'll see what uh, what is actually going on. See if the Nantax is the biggest boogeyman, or will uh, the Darth Vader. And, or Anakin, slash Anakin Skywalker ruled the day. Uh, so we're, we did a bunch of lists already. Uh, basically did Dion's list of the week. Yeah. Uh, so no, none of that. Uh, just a um, shout out for our positive life choices. Uh, obviously, uh, to go out, um, cherish your loved ones on this time mm -hmm. of uh, morning here. So uh, that's, that's the best advice we could give you right now. Uh, for our positive life choices, uh, get prepared for, uh, if you are coming up to Worlds, get prepared. Uh, Sleep and hydrate. Yeah, don't, uh, don't overextend yourself. It's going to be a, it's going to be a long one. <clears throat> for the yeah, long haul out there. Five days, just sleep and hydrate. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so, uh, just, uh, the closing then. Mm-hmm. Uh, remember that, uh, you could follow us on Twitch. You could follow us on YouTube. Uh, we have uh, Facebook, uh, Discord. Uh, turn on uh, the bell notifications for either Twitch and or YouTube. Uh, so, you know, right when we start streaming for Worlds. And uh, hopefully, uh, what? Dion, we'll see you there. It, yeah, uh, Dion's got some crazy stuff planned. I'm excited for it. <clears throat> Sounds like everybody is. So Yeah, yeah, uh, it'll be fun. Yeah. All right. Gold Squadron, All right. out.